My name is Pam and a warm welcome to you all this afternoon to the Digitise Summer Sessions. We're in the Google tent this afternoon and we're looking at Google Slides. We're going to make a stunning slides presentation all about the Commonwealth Games the last time they took place. So you'll know they're happening this summer from the UK, from Birmingham in England, but the last time they took place was in 2018 in the Gold Coast of Australia. So we're going to need to do a bit of research into the previous Commonwealth Games, find out all the winners, who took home the medals, what the stadium was like, um, and all the other big stories from that last major sporting event for the Commonwealth Games. I'm just going to jump into my computer just now and we're going to get started. Are you ready? Let's go. So, to begin any new Google Doc, we start off in Google Drive, and that's where I am right now. You'll know that you click the plus button in the left-hand corner here, looking for the word new, and today is all about Google Slides, so we're going to choose Google Slides, and as soon as we do that, we'll be straight into our new presentation. And there's a few things we need to do straight away. We want to give our presentation a name. So I'm going to call this Commonwealth um, and we're going to call it 2018. Um, that will do us just now. Now it starts off with just one slide. We can of course add more slides by going to insert um, and then new slide. So you click new slide there, you get a new slide. You can also right click and you can just click a new slide there or you can duplicate this slide as well. Now, we don't have anything set up as yet. It doesn't look very nice, it's just white. Let's go over to the right hand side of our screen and have a look at some of the themes we can choose. Now, I like some of these plain colored ones. You might want to go for a fancier one. You can see they've all got names. Um, but I like the look of this standard kind of blue one. And I'm just going to put in um, Gold Coast, because that was what it was called, 2018. So, oh, gold, gold Coast 2018. Um, and we could put in there um, Commonwealth Games um, in... Australia. So what we've done there is we've managed to just style a wee bit our first slide. We've got this kind of um, nice blue colour and we've got a heading and we've got a subheading underneath. Now, I'm thinking that this slide needs a nice image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for an image. Now there's a few ways I can do that. So I could go up here to the insert menu, I could click image and I can either upload it from my computer, I can find it in Google Drive or Google Photos. I could just pull up my camera if I wanted as well and take a photo of me. That wouldn't really work for this slides presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search the web. Now, I'm going to draw your attention now to the right hand side of my screen where you'll see very handily Google Images has appeared over on the right hand side so I don't need to go away anywhere I can stay right within my presentation and I can search for a nice image from here so I'm going to search for Gold Coast 2018 because I know that was the name of the Commonwealth Games the last time they took place and I can see a really nice image here of 
the stadium. So I'm just going to click on that and you'll notice now in the bottom right, I can click insert and that is going to go onto my slide. Now, that doesn't look very great. It's kind of tiny, it's down there. So I'm going to show you a really handy little tool. If I go to the tools menu on the top there, I can hit this explore. And what's going to happen is it's going to give me some really nice design ideas. So look at these layouts that I've got now. That looks pretty nice. As does that. As does that. Oh, and look at this one with the circle in the middle. Doesn't that look nice? So what you can see here is that I have got, from Google, from the Explore tool, lots of layout suggestions now of how nice my slide, my opening slide, can look. Now, I think I love the look of this one. I just love it. And you know what else I think would be really nice? If we manage to get the logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search again for Gold Coast 2018. And we're going to see if we can get the actual logo. So if I just go to Images, you can see there I now have the logo. I think that would look really nice in my slide here. So I'm just going to click Insert. And then we're going to just scroll that down a little bit. And that does look rather nice. Hmm. I think I, I'm not sure I like them. I think what we'll do is we'll just put this down as a little logo. And we'll have that on every slide. That looks lovely. So we've got that kind of little tab there. And we're just going to make sure that appears on every slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. Control C. And then on this other slide, I'm just going to paste that on. And you can see now that I've got that there. Um, so now I'm starting to get a bit of a look to my slides deck. I've got this nice opening page. Um, pretty happy with that. And then I've got this kind of layout here where I could have a title and then some information underneath it. So let's think about the kind of information we're going to need for our slides presentation all about the last Commonwealth Games. So we're going to go over to the right hand side again and this time we're going to search the web and try and find some key information. So we're going to go Commonwealth Games 2018 and we're just going to do a bit of a web search and we're going to hit here the web. Um, now what I can do with this little um, explore bar on the right hand side is I can pull it down so I can scroll down here and just basically browse the Google search. So for example, I can see here that this is the official website for the 2018 Commonwealth Games. So that might be a really good place for me to actually visit. And if I want to visit that, I'll leave Google Slides, but I'll go full into this web page. But what's really handy is that you don't have to go there and come back all the time. You can just kind of search from within here um, and see what's around, what's available. And of course, you can click on images as well. I really like the look of this and it looks very much like the opening ceremony. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new slide. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to click a new slide and we're just going to put this image in which looks like the opening ceremony. I'm just going to pop that in and actually an image like this needs to be full screen. So hopefully you'll remember how I found those layout options. So um, you can see there I have my theme and if I click explore, what I did there was I went back to the theme and I clicked this little explore tab down on the right hand side. I could also go to tools and then I could hit explore from there. And you'll see now that I've got these beautiful kind of full width image options. I really like this one. I think this is a perfect um, background and layout for my opening ceremony. So we're going to just say opening ceremony or opened. Let's just put opened. And then underneath, I'm looking for the date. Now, if you remember, we had that date up there already because we were searching the web. So I'm just going to hit there. We're going to search again and it's going to be Commonwealth 
Games 2018. And we should be able to get the opening ceremony date again. I'm just going to hit web. And then we can see here the opening ceremony took place on the 4th of April 2018. So I'm just going to grab that, Command C. And then underneath here, we're going to Command V. And we're going to put in that date. Um, it's a bit small. I'm just going to bring that up a bit. And for some reason, we have highlighted text. I'm just going to show you how to fix that. We're going to highlight it. Um, we're going to go over here to fill colour and we're going to put transparent. So um, there is no fill, only there is, which is very unusual. Um, so we're going to go here to highlight colour and that's going to be transparent. And that's us fixed it. So I clicked the wrong thing initially. So um, one thing you'll notice now is because we don't have that highlight, we can't read the text. So we're going to have to highlight the text and change the text colour. So I'll go up there and we're going to make it white. Always looking to have text that's a contrast against the background. Um, I think this opened is a bit small. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And we could change the font, of course, as well. So if you wanted a different font, um, for example, that one is quite stylish. Um, then we could put that up there. And what we're missing from here is our little logo badge. So I'm just going to go and get that from there, Command C to copy it, and then we're going to paste it onto our new slide. So what I did there was right click paste, but I could have also Control V um, to paste in from my clipboard. So that's really nice. We've now got, I think that should be the second. So we've got this is our first slide, and then this is our next one. Now, on the left hand side here in your little slide, navigator you can change the order like i just did there you just click and hold and then drag them about fairly easy to do that and um, so what i've learned there is we've got a nice opening slide and we've learned how to bring in a photograph um, and style that so that the photograph takes up um, the full layout so let's see how we might add some title and text into our slides deck so we know when it opened and maybe now what we could do is say how many athletes took part. So let's say um, athletes involved. Um, and you remember, we can find that information fairly readily just by heading over to this little explore panel and we click on web this time and we know here that there were 4,426. I'm just going to copy that um, and here. I'm going to paste it again that's a bit small um, and what we want to do is put that into a bit of a sentence so we're going to say 4,426 athletes took part in the 2018 Commonwealth Games now I wonder how many will take part um, in the 2022 Birmingham one. So there we go, that's quite a nice looking slide. Again, probably could be a bit bigger. Remember these are designed to be shown on a big screen. So actually you want your text to be fairly big and you don't actually want a lot a lot of text on every slide. A big common mistake people make with presentations is to put far too much writing on them and then they end up reading all the writing and it's not a good experience for anyone watching the slideshow. You want to keep the information pretty short on each slide and you can add speaker notes down the bottom here if you're actually presenting it and you need to remind yourself what to say but what I like to do when I'm presenting a slides deck is just to keep my information short to use a lot of images to use a lot of slides actually um, and jump through them fairly quickly but keep my voice telling the story throughout I'm really quite chuffed with this presentation so far and what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to add a video to your slides deck so again we're going to need a new slide and we're just going to go up to the insert tab this time and we're going to hit new slide and you'll see I've now got this blank slide now you might have noticed there that the insert tab also has an option for video and you might have guessed correctly that that's how we want to add a video so I'm just going to click into that just now and what you can see here is that I can actually search YouTube 
directly from within my slides get deck. Again, not a huge benefit because you don't need to go away to YouTube and then come back to your slides deck. Just like you can search the web from the Explore tab. Google making it really easy for us to stay focused, to stay on our work, to stay productive and not get distracted. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I was to go away to YouTube and start looking for things, I could probably be there for an hour and I'll get distracted and I'll find, you know, other videos that I might want to watch. So the fact that you can search right here um, is just fantastic. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to save ourselves some type and time and I'm just going to copy this little search and I'm going to go back to insert. I'm going to go to video this time and I'm just going to search YouTube for the Commonwealth Games 2018. And look at this. We've got the whole opening ceremony. Goodness me. Um, we've got lots of finals so we can put them in. Um, but I think we're going to want a little bit of the opening ceremony. I think that's a great idea. Now it's 51 minutes long. It's a bit long for our slides deck. But why don't we just choose it? Now you see all I need to do is click on one of these videos. Search YouTube. I'm not getting distracted. I'm staying on my slides deck. I'm focused on my work. I'm not getting down the, the road of discovering lots of other YouTube videos. I can choose what one I want. And once I've highlighted it and see the blue box, I just click select. And what's going to happen so that's going to put the video right into my slides deck. Now, I think I want to get rid of this text box. No, I want to get rid of this text box. So I'm going to just delete that one. We're going to bring the video down and to the side. And that is a really nice layout. We're going to make it a bit bigger. Because our video is a bit um, small at that size. Um, now, I've got something else that's really cool. Remember how that video was... 51 minutes long, but well, we don't want to show 51 minutes long. So what we're going to do um, is we're just going to preview this. Welcome to the 21st Commonwealth Games, and the Queensland rains did not dampen the excitement of the crowd, performers, and... So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to end it at um, three minutes. So what I've done is I'm not going to play in my slide presentation, I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm going to end it at three minutes. You know, if someone want, if you want to play longer, you can. Um, but I think if I was doing a presentation, I wouldn't want to be going through my slides and then play a 50 minute video. Wouldn't make sense. People would probably get a bit fed up. Um, anyway, I've been able to add a video in nicely. Um, and then we're just going to put 2018 opening ceremony. Um, so there we go, what we've managed to do here, can't really see that text, so I'm just going to bring this video down a bit. There we go, that's a pretty nice layout we've got going on there just now. Um, I am really happy with that, I'm going to pop this text box up a wee touch um, and just get this video a little bit bigger. But yeah, I'm really happy with that now, I think that looks really good. Remember down the bottom I could add my speaker's notes. Um, I'm just going to point out something over on the left hand side here, underneath my slide ordering, um, you'll notice that I have this tiled layout. If I do that, I get taken to this kind of um, layout here, and at this point I can just rearrange them. Might be an easier way for you to rearrange your slides. To go back, you just click down on the bottom left again. Okay, so what we've added so far is a video. I've managed to add an image um, and let's look now at what else we can do in our slides presentation. So I'm just going to create another new slide. Um, in fact, I'm going to create a few more new slides. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit more information about our Commonwealth Games in 2018. So I'm going to go back over to the right hand side, I'm going to click the explore tab again and let's search for gold medal in the 100 meters uh, and that's Commonwealth 2018. So let's see what we get here, search the web, um, we can find out, there we go. We've got a Wikipedia entry. We might need to go into it actually to find out this. So we'll go to Wikipedia. Um, there we go. 
Akani Simbini, South African, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but South African sprinter won the um, men's 100 metres at the Gold Coast um, 2018. So, there's a little bit of information for you. Um, the world record is held by Usain Bolt, um, but um, Akani Simbini of South Africa won the gold medal and he ran it in 10.03 seconds so um, Wikipedia these images are okay for me to use so we could save that image from there so we're just going to save that um, so, okay, so, um, allowed copyright free um, it's got a Wikipedia Commons license now because that's saved onto my computer I can just drag that now and it's another way to add an image. So we might need to look up this chap's name again. Um, and I think what I might want to do is just copy it because my spelling is not great. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put in his name. Um, oh, it's gone black. We need to change it to white text. Make it stand out against the blue background. Um, and I'm just going to drag that down a wee bit. So there we go. Um, I'm just going to format that so that it's the same font as the rest. There we go. And there we have um, a nice picture of Akani Simbini, if that's how we pronounce his name. Um, and what we can do here is just maybe have some key information. So let's just go back to Wikipedia. Um, and what does it say? Going back a page. Um, there we go. Akai. So what we could do is just copy that um, text there just to save time. You will, of course, put it in your own words. Um, but I'm just going to copy that there. I right click and I'm going to paste. And then we're going to just drag it in this text box. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to change the size of this a little bit because it's a bit small. We're just going to select that, oh, select that text, and uh, we're going to make it a bit bigger. That's it, because we like our presentation text to be nice and big, and we're going to change the font there as well. So, look at that, that is a gorgeous slide. Our presentation is really taking shape. We've got video, we've got images, we've got some text, we're discovering how to search the web um, and how to search for images right in there. Let's, while we're here, let's just pull in some more um, images onto these slides. Um, this looks like... I think this looks like a nice one. Looks like the stadium. Um, so this is a really nice photograph there. We're going to pop that in. And remember, if we close that down and then we hit explore again, we're going to get some really nice layout options. I like this one. That is really nice, and we're just going to call that the stadium. And then we could go and find out some information about the stadium, maybe when it was built, and um, maybe how many, how many years it took to build it. Maybe I don't know. We could, sure we could find lots of data and statistics about the 2018 Commonwealth Games Stadium. But this presentation is really taking shape. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you would share this with other people. Um, and obviously you can add as many slides as you like. Um, you can just keep on adding them. You can format your text. If I've got any tips for you, it's use a lot of images, use big text, use some nice headings, and try not to overcomplicate what you're putting on each slide. So I'm going to just show you now how you would share that. Before we do that, let's have a look at it in slideshow presentation mode. So if I just click slideshow, then what I can do is on my computer arrow keys, I can just go through and you can see that was my nice opening slide. And then we've got that there. Um, I might want to change the order actually because the opening ceremony should probably come a bit earlier. Um, but yeah, you can see how that's taken shape. The video plays and then we've got the information about the athlete who won the 100 metres and in the stadium. Now, that is not finished <coughs> by any stretch of the imagination. But you get the idea. Super, super easy. Um, if you want to duplicate any of these, you can right click and click duplicate. 
you may be a quick way for you to do um there might be three or four stadiums and you could um you know do one photo for each one that's a really nice thing to do okay so <coughs> before we go any further a couple of other things to show you when you are working together with other people it's possible for you to share a presentation with other members of your class other members of your group and have them contribute slides to it as well i'm going to show you how to share it with them first if you click up here and you click share then you've got some various options so i'm just going to click my colleague niall and that means he is an editor now i could just let them view it or just let them add a comment on it if I didn't want them to muck up my slides presentation but I trust Niall I reckon he's going to edit it quite sensibly so I'm going to let him be an editor and I'm going to send that to him now he'll get an email I could customize the message if I want but Niall will get an email and when he gets that email there'll be a link to the slides document and he'll be able to click in edit it and help me build this amazing presentation on Commonwealth Games 2018 you can do that with your classmates of course or with your teacher um, and you'll have other ways to share your documents too like putting them into google classroom um, but i'm happy with that um, you also down here you could share it with a bunch of people so one thing that's really good is that you can change your settings so that anyone on the internet in the world can view your presentation now you probably don't want them to be able to edit it i wouldn't recommend that but you might want them to be able to view it so what you could do is you could put it on a website or you could share it just as a presentation um or some information that you want to share with another group or organization so that's how you change them but remember don't share it with people if you you know to edit it generally and um, you only really want to share it with people to edit it if they're going to be working on it with you everyone else the viewer link will do them and then you would just copy that link and share it with them so um that is how you get on with the sharing one thing that's really super great as well teachers if you're listening to this you can start a google meet from directly within a document now so i could just join a call and present this document here without having to go away to google meet i don't know if you're noticing the theme that's appearing throughout this it's that we're trying to stay in the app that we're using we're not going away to other places we don't need to go to youtube we don't need to go to the web we don't need to go to google images we can search everything from in here and you'll notice down the right hand side we can also quickly jump to our calendar um, to our Google Keep Notes, our task lists, we can find our contacts and we can even bring up Google Maps and other add-ons from within the sidebar. Isn't that incredible? So hopefully you're going to get on great with your Commonwealth Games presentation. Remember you have to do a lot of research first, but remember the Explore tab is a great place to go to start that research. And I'm just going to put in again commonwealth games um and show you uh 2018 commonwealth games and what we're going to do is we're just going to find the official website so that you can get all your information so the official website was gc2018.com and that was standing for gold coast 2018 i'm just going to go there just now and you will see this is the website you're looking for lots and lots of information there we've got all the medalists and look at that scotland were eighth in the medal table which is pretty good for our little small country um so we'll see how well we do this year um but yeah lots of information about the different sports that were available and um, that were on offer sorry at the last time the commonwealth games took place you've got all the results there as well um, and again a great website to go to you've also got places like wikipedia which have got some fairly reliable information um, about the commonwealth games um, and um, that's a Thank you so much for joining us today for this Google Slides session. We've only just touched the beginning of Google Slides. I'm sure your presentation is going to be way, way better than mine. Um, it seems like that's um, all we've got time for today. But good luck with your Commonwealth um, 2018 
presentations. Remember, you've also got this summer's event in Birmingham to look forward to and a whole host of other digitised summer session events to take place over the next three weeks. I hope you can join us for some more of those. We've got some amazing digital challenges coming up. And if you're an educator, join us if you can for some of our educator focused sessions. I look forward to seeing you the next time on Digitize Summer Sessions. Thanks very much and we'll see you later. Bye. Uh -huh.